Hi, I'm Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn trainer, coach. I'm all about helping people master LinkedIn based on their particular purpose and their specific goals. One of my clients asked me yesterday, he said, Teddy, do you use LinkedIn for prospecting? And I absolutely use LinkedIn for prospecting. I'm pretty deliberate about that step. It's one of the four steps that gives me the greatest value on LinkedIn. Step number one is building my presence on LinkedIn with a a bold and proud profile. It clearly says I'm Teddy Burris, LinkedIn coach trainer. Step number two is building a network of people on LinkedIn who are relevant to me in many different ways, including my business goals. Step number three is building a reputation on LinkedIn based on the content that I share and the content that I engage on. And step number four is prospecting. It's, it's using LinkedIn as a research tool to find organizations that may be an organization who could use what I do. And that for me, it's a pretty deliberate step. I'll show you high level, my prospecting step, and then you can look at it and see if you can make it into something that will work for you. Step number one for me is I need to go to advanced search, and I've already done this. And in advanced search, I need to set up saved searches. And I've already done this. So I've created a search by using all of the appropriate and relevant filters that I have access to in LinkedIn, I've created a search to find uh, the C-suite in real estate and sales business development, and sales trainers and business development managers in my area. So when I create these search results, what will happen is on a weekly basis, because that's what I've asked for, LinkedIn will send me an email. And here's one of those emails that I got on July 9th. LinkedIn will send me an email of a, with a list of all the people that it found in the most recent search. And then I can go bring that page up just as I can right here. And I can hit, uh, I can hit right here, view these 35. And LinkedIn brings up those 35 people that it found based on that saved search. Now, what I do now is I very deliberately and methodically, step by step, go and look through these and make a decision of who in this list do I want to go do some more research on. Generally, I start with the ones I am the highly connected to. Here's a gentleman named Ian Henshaw. So if I go look at this, I can see that I got 18 connections to him, lots of my, 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 my network. So I will right click, this is important, I will right click on he, Ian's profile and open it in a new tab. And so I go to that tab and I'll look and see who he is, what he's all about, see if he's got any content information. He uses Twitter and there's his websites. Here's a summary. He's been working for Open Data Soft since July, for, for about a year now. Business development manager focused on North America. Uh, and he's worked for some other companies. Now, if I want to know some more, I might scroll down to his through his profile and see if in his advice for contacting him. He's been involved in a lot of projects. Get down here to advice so I can find it. Here it is here. And he does not have his email address. Uh, but he does say, if you want to connect on LinkedIn, send me a note, how we met and why we should connect. I like that. So I'll go back up top here. I want to learn a little bit more about his company. So I will hover over that, right click on that, open in a new tab. And you see, I have my search results. There's this gentleman's LinkedIn profile. Here's their company page. So I can see they have 33 employees, 745 people following them. Looks like uh, every day or so they post some content. Looks like it's in a different language. So I'll scroll down here and I can see that yes, they're in France. This might be a delimiter for me. It may not be, doesn't have to be, but um, I need to pay attention to the fact that they're not in the US. They got upwards of 50 employees, 33 are on LinkedIn. So if I wanna do a little deeper dive, then I'll do a see all, look at their number, look at their employees. I can see I got him in Raleigh, but the re uh, another person in Raleigh, Paris, Paris, France, Paris, France. So looks like there's a lot of people in France and a couple in Raleigh. So um, I'll do a little bit more research. And uh, 
if I want to, I may go look at this other person, the data person. So this may not be a good fit for me or a good quick fit for me. I still may want to reach out to Ian Henshaw and introduce myself, but it is not a top level target for me. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to back out. I'm going to come back to Ian's profile. I might send him a message on the in mail. I may not. Probably not. At this point, I want to go to my next one. So I'll close this, come back here, and then I'm back to my list. And I might go down here. And here's a People Suite, Season Charlotte. I'll right click on her profile, open in a new tab. I'll look at her profile and see how we're connected. I can see that she's a premium user, which may lead me to believe that she's pretty deliberate about her use of LinkedIn. She's, um, so I can see she worked for Meridian. So I go right click on the, this here, open the company page up in another tab. Look at the company page. They only have 14 employees. Uh, people suite, less than 50 employees. This may not be a target for me either. I do have nine second level employees here. So let's look at that a little bit. If I open that up, I can see that it's pretty much a recruiting company. Um, not a, still not uh, irrelevant. So here's Herman Bruno. He's the managing director. Let's go look at his profile again. Right click, open in a new tab, look at his profile. And this could be a target for me. They're in Charlotte. Um, pretty deliberate use of LinkedIn. So if this is a target for me, which means he could be a good prospect, I'm going to save his profile in my prospecting folder. And then I'm going to find a way to connect with Herman. And you know, I'll use my connecting tools, my connecting processes to do that. I'm looking for advice for contacting him. He actually gives me his phone number. I may actually call him. Might be the easiest way to get a hold of him. This is prospecting on LinkedIn. You start with your advanced search. You get your weekly list. You work through your list. Hopefully your list isn't more than a couple pages. You work through your list. You look at the individuals. You look at the company pages. You look at the company's website. You make a decision if it's a target for you. If it is, you figure out a way to connect with them and get into an open conversation. I do this pretty deliberately. I do it pretty regularly and it creates results for me. I'm Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn coach trainer. I'm all about helping you figure out how to use LinkedIn, master LinkedIn for your purpose and your goal.